Good morning, Eco Village devotees. Uh, no sooner did I get here this morning, of course, on my bike, but uh, <laughs> the older gentleman on the Rhino who dropped by yesterday came by with his grandson and they wanted a tour of the grounds. That was kind of cute. And the kid, who couldn't be more than 10 or 11, volunteered to give me a hand. So uh, clearly I'm making an impression with the locals. So today, what am I doing? Um, Karen and I discussed yesterday the idea of building a shed type structure, either a Viking longhouse or uh, God, the bugs are thick today. Either a Viking longhouse or um, a waddle and daub uh, square frame cabin, or maybe even a uh, timber frame log cabin. And that's going to be at the 400, no, 200 foot mark in lot zero. And if you remember, lot zero is the first or lot zero and zero A, are the first section uh, from the road, 400 feet in, the entire width of the property, 330 feet. So, at 200 feet, the middle of lot zero, we're going to build a little log cabin to store our tools in, and gradually fix up to be the first overnight cottage until we get things on the go. Which means, when my parents are doing whatever, the dad theoretically, we'll be doing some outport ministry this fall, so I won't be able to crash at the cottage the way that I have this summer. So, uh, we hope to have some place temporary that we can put, lay up our heads for the night, or if it starts to rain, we can crash there and hopefully it'll slow down or stop. But we will be able to uh, have some place to fix up and have an overnight uh, semi-permanent tool shed. And then when we build the gardens, that can be the tool shed for the gardens. It'll be just off the main street. Um, that is of, is of course main street. And up there is main street. So another 50 feet past where the, the tree line ends there now, which I've got to clear out some of that today. So with any luck, we'll figure out where the cabin is going to be and uh, might even get some more visitors. Who knows? Take care and see you in the next clip. Okay, the uh, cleanup is going along well. I've got the boughs piling up. I've had a couple of visitors, Larry just dropped by. He'll be back down again soon, so that'll be more time lost, but never wasted. He's fun. So, I'm walking uphill now towards the 150 foot mark, and I'll show you some of the work I got done. Got some more clearing in this area. He's got to go. All the little trees. Got some stuff cleared here too. Now this guy is going to move down the other end of the property by the front door when I get the chance. Though, that's a gorgeous log for the cabin. Might be that here. Uh, a lot of these trees piled up now. Uh, but, more importantly, originally, that stake was the edge, that little tree behind the stake. But now, I have all that cleared away. So, all this, all that piled up. The road, then, uh, is going to be, you can see the main road swings this way, then towards me and then goes in a little bit of a left-handed angle again over here. All those big trees I want to keep in the place. The road may actually come up here and then towards me in here, maybe. I don't know. The more it swings, the better. It'll look more organic that way. But I'm going to keep clearing, get rid of all this brush. That big beautiful tree stays. That one stays, that one stays. This one stays, so I'm going to be in that direction now. I don't care how much it wavers. The properties are going to be pretty rough anyway. 
and over there is where the area has been cleared out. So from that stake, though I've got to get it uh, redone, I'm going to get it some green cord and uh, from the from the road edge, get that area, pull a, a line roughly straight, as straight as I can get it, I don't again care a whole lot, but get it from there to that post and then from uh, that post in this way. And I can probably see right now where the site will be for the log cabin. I might even put it there, to hell with it. It's already mostly cleared away anyway, and uh, save us some time. But when all this area is cleared, you won't recognize it. So that's it for me, see you next clip. Hello there, 11.51, sorry I forgot to log the time. Just up for a bit of water. I hear Larry coming there now, so I'll probably stop for a little while while he and I have a chat. But I now have all this area cleared out. This will be the path of the road up to yonder standing tree, and then it zigzags back and forth to the mouth. So that's it for now. It's almost 12, so I'm gonna rest for a little while. Been at this for two hours. So, cheerio. See you soon. Hello, hello. Larry didn't show up, I'm not sure where he is, so I went back to work. It's almost 12.30, and uh, to give you an update, that's the 150 foot mark. Just to give us some perspective, that's the main street, and here's the direction Main Street is now taking. So, I think I found a site for the cottage. Main Street will continue this way and go through this way with a little path, probably a stone path, going up here into this gorgeous place. This is where Don was cutting before he realized it was my territory. He has since stopped, of course. But when I get all this cleared away, some of the trees in the middle, this will be a gorgeous site for the cabin. Now it's not quite 200 feet in, but that's okay. I don't care that much. But all this bright sunny area is uh, the future, maybe even this area, this site here. I don't mind too much if we build inside the wooded area because it'll still look really nice, the log cabin in the woods. And I'll try to find the corner of our land. Uh, should find some trees lined up along the ground. Just up here, I think. Quite a ways. There we go. You can see those trees and that little clearing is our marker line. And I'm pretty sure I'm standing on the marker line. So from here to right across there is ours. That's all his, this is all mine. The eco villages, whatever. So a good example of what he cut here and didn't take with him yet. But I could put the house anywhere around here and uh, know that we have lots of space. There's not much big tall stands of trees here, there's a few birch, but this might be a good place for it. But uh, either way, this is a beautiful open area. God, look at that sky. And uh, it's a beautiful bird. So 
we're certainly among nature here. But if you walk over that way, you get access to to Don's house. That's where I just came from. This is where the cabin may well be. And this is where I'm clearing out now, cleaning away some of the brush. But my arms are gone numb. So we're gonna have to sit down, maybe a drink, and uh, see what goes from there. Either way, thanks for watching. See you soon. Hello, it's 2.06. Thought I'd give you an update. That's what I've been doing for the past hour and a half or so. I gave up on the very end. I know roughly where the... where the uh, 200 foot mark is, roughly, but it's more convenient. It's easier for there to be... two people for surveying, measuring. So. Instead, I decided to uh, do to this side, or to do over here, like over there. So I've got all the heavy, dense underbrush taken care of on the right-hand side. You can see some of the trees have got opened up. Eventually, when that canopy fills out and flushes out, we should have a beautiful, strong forest that won't blow over in the wind. So we have all this area that uh, will be piled up like that. And uh, all this, I want to move over on the other side. I don't know if you can see the flies, but God, they're vicious today. I've never seen them this bad. But you see where I stopped, basically? I've got to get the uh, area uncovered, cleared away. If it flies, don't kill me first. But what a difference it makes. Take a quick interlude across the road and see uh, if it makes any difference. You can definitely see further in. Now that the area is cleared out a little bit, and there's more sun on the ground, which is what I like to see. I also have a whole bunch of logs piled up here. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, maybe to reinforce that, I don't know. I'll widen this area off when Karen gets here on Wednesday, hopefully Wednesday. And uh, it's been a pretty good day so far, but I'm exhausted, got a lot of work done, and uh, oh, when we have this cleared off, the tree with my bike next to it's going to go, that one might or might not, I don't know, this one probably will, but you'll see how the main road is forming up. That tree goes, uh, I want that one to stay, which means those two might go. I don't know, but really, how much do we really need to clear it away? Because we're not going to be having a lot of heavy vehicles. We're not going to have a lot of cars and truck traffic. I would almost prefer there to be a little parking lot up here. Clear away enough trees. A lot of those, some of these, to pull your vehicle in and park it here. To pull it in and park it there. And then walk the rest of the way. My eco-villagers will be able to walk, I'm sure. But that might not be a bad idea. This tree, I think, has to go. It's split to pieces already. Don't know how much time it's got left. But, fact remains, a parking lot up front might be a good idea. It'll teach people there's always a presence here, and so on and so forth. Got some bottles there for Karen put our tinctures and things in. But that's it for me for now. Cheers. Take care. Hello. It is 2.30. Now, 
you might not notice such minutia, but I replaced most of the logs in my bridge. Those are the old ones. This is what is what. This is what is left of the other pile. That one is rotten out in the center. So this is the opposite side. All these logs are much more accurately the same size. So when I put a deck of pallet board across this, it should be much more rigid. 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 Huh. All right. I'm gonna go before I further make a mess of this particular segment. See you next clip. Hello again. It's uh, 20 after 3. I'm beaten to a snot, so I'm gonna give it up for now. But before I do, I want to show you what I got done. This we already saw, but just look at how far in I got done. 20 feet, 30 feet, maybe, and all the way up to here. All that's cleared out. When the time comes, the entire forest will look like this. Beautiful stands of trees, ideally all straight. That guy's gotta go. And uh, this berm, you see the track that I'm laying out here, will be all piled up as big as that, or that even. So I'm making a track all the way across both sides that will buffer off the main road area rather nicely. So I'm worn ragged. I'm going to uh, throw it in for now. Go back and give Dad a hand with whatever it is he's doing. I'm out of water anyway, so I should probably keep hydrated if anything else. So that's it for me. The uh, cabin is going over there. I've got all this cleared out too. There's the 150 foot mark. All that's gone out behind that big tree and out behind that's cleared out. And all that is where I've decided the cabin's gonna go. So I bored you long enough. Cheerio and see you tomorrow, I guess.